What up world? This is Trevor from 12 Health and Fitness Certified Personal Trainer. Welcome back to the channel. All right, so to start this off, I wanna talk about body weight only exercises. I've been getting some messages on social media about this, you know, what can I do or how do I do this? If you have any questions or wanna keep up to date on anything, my handle's on screen somewhere. Give me a follow, it would be greatly appreciated. Now, onto the main course of this video, which of course is the back. I wanna try and keep this strictly to body weight only exercises. There may be a time where some of the exercises will need a piece of equipment. However, I will make sure, I will make sure that any piece of equipment that we use, you can find in your house, such as a towel, a can of soup, uh, a soap container, laundry basket, a stool, a bench, and even if you don't have one of these pieces of equipment in your house, you're still gonna be able to do the exercise just without the piece of equipment. All right, all right, all right, enough rambling, let's get into this. Okay, so when we're targeting our back, we're gonna be wanting to make sure that we hit our upper traps, our mid traps, our lower traps, our rhomboids, which are in between our shoulder blades. We're gonna to wanna to hit our lats and our lower back. So the first exercise that we're gonna take a look at is going to be the lat pullover. However, we're gonna to want to be on a slippery surface, such as hardwood floors, laminate flooring, tile flooring. You can even do this on concrete with some pants if you want. Uh, it's gonna be a lot more resistance with that. You can do this on carpet, just make sure you don't get carpet burn. You just wanna be able to slide on the surface because what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be in this high plank position like this and then we're gonna slide back on our feet, like our toes, or our knees and shins, back into full extension here with our arms out in front, and then we're gonna really focus on bringing our elbows back into our sides as if we were trying to squeeze our armpit to the other side of our body. And that's gonna activate our lats and make sure that our scapula comes down and we're gonna pull ourselves straight back up into that plank position. And then we're just gonna continue this sliding back and forth. Another exercise that we can do for our lats is going to be a rolled up towel overhead lat pull down. So we're gonna wrap the towel up, we're gonna spread our arms apart, wide grip, closed grip, whichever you feel most comfortable with, with that towel wrapped up and above our head like this, we're gonna to want to pull the towel tight. So we're gonna to wanna to make sure we're pulling our palms or our pinkies and elbows down towards the ground and then bring that towel down as if we are simulating a lat pull down on a cable machine. This is more of a mobilization exercise, but if you do have weak lats or you don't know how to really trigger your scapula and your lats properly, this is going to really help you out. So this exercise here is Superman claps. What we're gonna to wanna to do is get on the ground on our stomach. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that we activate our lower back, which will bring our quads and our shins and toes off the ground. Then we're gonna to wanna to raise our chest off the ground as well. So now that we're just sort of sitting or laying down just on our abs. What we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that we stretch our hands way out above our head, clap them together, and then we're gonna spread our arms apart, rotating palms down towards the ground all the way till we reach mid body length and then our thumbs will be facing the ground and then we're going to keep going until our palms are now facing the ceiling and above our butt. And we're gonna try and grab our hands and then we're gonna rotate again all the way back up into a clap and then just continue on through this really nice and slow and controlled, making sure that we keep our chest and our legs off the ground. That's gonna activate our whole posterior chain and really making sure that our lower back is engaged. This exercise here is the grounded scapula row and if it's too hard to do on the ground, we can also do this on the wall, uh, which will be a lot easier. It's more of a, again, another exercise where you want to make sure that you're activating the correct muscles. So it's gonna be our mid traps and rhomboids. This is really gonna help our rhomboids. What you wanna do is make sure that you get into position on the ground, you're laying down, bend your knees so your feet are on the ground as well, flat footed. You're gonna to wanna to spread your elbows apart as if you're getting ready to do a bench press. However, your elbows are gonna stay anchored and grounded. 
This is where we're gonna be driving all of our force. We're gonna be driving through the elbows, squeezing our scapulas together. That's gonna activate those rhomboids and that is what's going to get our body off the ground. It's gonna expose our chest up to the ceiling. This is what we're looking for. And again, if this is too difficult on the ground, we can always take this and bring it to the wall and then do it from a wall standing position. Again, elbows into the wall. Don't put a hole in your wall doing this lightly, but you're anchored against the wall and all you wanna do is get that scapula moving back. Just really focus on contracting the, the rhomboids, get the back off the wall and then go back down to flat position. And I got a nice little last one here, which is going to be the single arm doorway row. Everyone has a doorway in their house. What you can do here is you stand in between your doorway in a squat position. So you're gonna be sort of squatted down, which is actually gonna activate your quads quite a bit here. And you're gonna put your single arm against your door frame or door jam or whichever it is. And you're gonna sort of grip, grip it with your fingers. This is gonna be good to grip your forearm strength as well. And in this position, it's just one arm. Your other arm can lay on top of your abs just in front of you like this. What we're gonna to wanna to do is lean all the way back, making sure we don't fall, and then row in. Don't row in with your bicep, row in with your shoulder blade. So you can move your whole shoulder blade backwards, your scapula with your rhomboids and everything. Row in, elbow should come just past the back of your body like this, and you should be right up in front of the door jam. Don't pull too fast or you're gonna hit your face on the door jam, and we don't want that happening. All right guys, that is it for this video. I do hope you've learned something and I really hope that you can take these exercises and use them in your home workout routine. If you guys did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, share this with your friends and family. It would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe for more content. I got a lot more of these on the channel and a lot more coming. And remember to give it your maximum effort because you're stronger than you think.